So, Mrs. Warner, what is it today? It's Wednesday. And what does Wednesday mean? Wednesday, work day. Work day, Wednesday. You're delivering flowers. I'm going to go and see my mum. I'm not feeling it today. No, no skipping my step. I can't hear out this ear. Do you remember I had yeah. that a few months ago? I just woke up this morning. Can't hear out that ear. So, anyway, let's let's just get on with it and see how the day unfolds let's see how the day unfolds i'm up my mum's super early this morning she'll be like what are you doing here so early gonna have some coffee and marmite on toast it's needed much needed this morning so this is me in town i'm doing all four of the funeral deliveries and they're like all over the place and they've all got to be delivered by 11 so not a problem i'll do it i know where they all are it's um a bit busy you know getting around town this time of day but let's um i'll take you on a little bit around northampton so this is st giles street in northampton which is I mean lisa used to come here a lot because it's got a lot of cafes and a lot of independent shops so quite like this road the first drop is here First delivery done. Let's turn you off. And now it's got to shoot out towards Bedford to another another funeral directors. Look, I've got a couple more in town. They're uh, a bit later, so I've got to get this one out to Bedford on the it's called Brayford on the Green. It's a nice little village, but um, yeah, next one up. So Naomi, she works at Asda, and she was saying that people are starting to panic buying again with rumours of like an, another lockdown. Mum stopped up yesterday, she took her trolley to Morrison's, came back with a whole load of plants. This bit's always a bit busy because it's the main route into one of the biggest industrial estates. A lot of lorries, a lot of cars coming into work. Just a busy little spot. Right, we're just coming up to Brayfield and the Green, the next few directors. Very small companies basically in real, in real trouble again really unsure of their future it made me think if we don't support our independent businesses they're going to end up um, you know going 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 bust and I don't think they're going to get replaced because the issue will be that anyone thinking of starting a business now unless it's involved in something that would be would benefit from this situation um, won't do it they'll be too scared they'll be too scared of you know can you imagine if you plowed all your life savings into businesses and then in a year's time we have a massive flare-up of covid and they shut us down for a period of time and then your your earnings just dry up so i um, i think we need to support our little businesses i know it's very tempting to do all your shopping online at the moment but where you can buy off small businesses or use the services of small businesses um, because once they're gone um, I don't think there's going to be anyone brave enough to um, restart them for a long time let's let's um, let's work together on this one I think I know our high streets are going to change definitely but let's try and keep hold of some of those small businesses that have made the adaption for online ordering and stuff anyway that's all I'm gonna say it was bothering me just thought I'd put it out there Another thing I've just thought of actually, um, I need to do something to cheer Mrs. Warner up. She's not as happy as she normally is, and it really it really bothers me. I like it when everyone's happy. Um, so I need to find something, a gift or something for Mrs. Warner to cheer her up. Funeral free delivered, it's ten past nine, so I'm well ahead of where I need to be, which is great. That, uh, off to the next one.
Okay, all three funerals delivered, sorted, back to the shop. So I'm back at Deb's waiting for Glenn. It's been busy this morning by the sounds of it. I'm just not feeling it this week. I just feel all out of sorts. There's nothing specific. It's just this uh, feeling. And I was pondering. Been pondering today. We're quite good at spotting when life feels bleh and sorting it out. And and this one's tricky. This one is very tricky. I think I've nailed it though. I think I've nailed down what it is. I know, and I've known this throughout the whole year, that the stuff that makes my life feel rich is museums festivals gatherings conversations meetings of people and minds and all of that i love that and what i think it is is i've got used to not having that this year life sort of looks normal but it's like a shell of a life it's like there's no depth to it and that's what I've been feeling. And I think I've been, I've not really been overly aware of that until the stronger measures have been brought in. And I think the rule of six, and for me, the most um, important thing is realising that we can't gather as a family all together is so hard there's just so many of us you know there we're like 14 of us just with the kids their partners and the grandkids there's a lot of us and it just feels mm. i can't even think about it without making me cry and also, you know, my mum's fear of if they introduce that households can't mix, you know, of her being on her own. It's just so flipping hard. On the way home, I was, I was thinking about this. And uh, I believe in, in signs and symbols and, and clues. I believe in all that. So, just around the corner, I was sitting in traffic to get here. And uh, in front of me, there was a ABC leisure van with a big picture of a narrow boat sprawled across the back. And I think there's, there's the clue. Get out. Get out. Get out. Explore take this time where we can't gather to be out i think it's a big clue anyway i'm going now sorry for that i'm gonna go and take a deep breath now we're we're just around the corner from the galleon pub and i've heard a rumor that chili jam jeff is more just just around the corner so we're going to take you with us see if we can find him let's see if we can find him so this is where we are. There's the river. Yeah. There's the canal. The canal, and I reckon Jeff's just down here somewhere. Let's we'll go see. see if we can find him. It tells you about the iron trunk. Oh yeah, look. We have, we have, uh, we've been over this many times. Yeah, that's nothing to do with it though. That's that, that's graffiti. I reckon Jeff's just round here. Here he is. How you doing? Uh, <laughs> you found it. <laughs> Oh. Like a little blankie on you, <laughs> like a skull. Taking monkey malt. Glenn, you got a friend. Hey, friend. Sarah's just dark. said, do I want a cup of tea? And then she said, I've got a little bottle of Prosecco. I was like, well, it is Wednesday. It is, what's the time? 25 to 4. 25 to 4? Let's, let's crack the Prosecco open. Cheers. We're moving on from the small bottle to the big bottle. This ain't a bad way to spend a Wednesday. Is that all it is, Wednesday? Yeah. So we just come out of Jeff's boat. It was raining a little bit. It's a massive puddle here. That's how much rain we've had. I'm glad I put my covers over the windows. That's 
herby chicken with red onion mash and garlicky beans. We've had this before, we love it. I've never cooked it drunk though, so, so there's an added twist to it. A new series of Bake Off started last night and obviously we missed it because we was at the pub. Oh, I'm so looking forward to having dinner, sitting down, watching Bake Off. I cannot tell you, off the charts excited. I slightly burnt the chicken a bit. There you go. Enjoy. We've just had our neighbour John come round with cake and we're watching Bake Off. You know what this means. Cup of tea, slice of cake, happy times. Oh, I'm ending today feeling way better than I did this morning. This one, good consistency across the board and the sponge was very, very good. Oh, that looks amazing.